We're gonna try something called bubble and fly fishing. It's a four, it's a poor man's fly fishing way. <laughs> so what you do is you get a bubble, a little bead, and then your favorite fly. I'm gonna use grasshoppers today to set it up. It's gonna be really easy. So first of all, what you wanna do is you wanna get your string, your line very long. I usually like to do the length of my pole or just down to the to the uh, reel right here. That is what I like to do. So these are the things that you need. Got the bubble, your grasshopper or fly, and then the little bead right there. Put your bubble on first, just like that. Then you put your bead on there. Now the bead, I like to loop the string through like a couple times and then tie it on itself because the bead is what keeps this bobber from going down. The bobber's gonna slide up and down. This is your weight, but the bead is what keeps it from getting towards your fly. And at the very end, tie on your favorite fly. And it should be long, should be good. You gotta fill up that bubble with water, just enough to get it out there. And then you're just gonna reel in very slowly. So I'll show you. In order to fish the thing, once you cast it out there, you just reel it in very slowly. What you wanna do is you wanna see a tiny wake behind your fly and your bubble. And that means you're going good. If you got anything going faster, it's too much. Now hoppers, which is what I'm using now, usually work better during windy and cloudy conditions. It's a little sunny right now, so it's not working the best. Um, but um, we have seen some fish out here feeding off the top, so we're hoping that sometime soon they'll take a bite. 